Oops. Oh, God. You're losing it, pal. There we go. Tefina. Oops, I got those backwards. So then we're left with this. Solihina. Soliona. Oops, we actually... Sorry, there's one more thing I have to do. Uh, YouTube. Welcome back. We're about to do some crazy morphology in our cursed descendant of Tokipona called Tehfona. Um... So, I don't know. Get ready. It's about to happen. The curses continue. So we have a, a paradigm for the, the noun house that we're developing. And I think we need to finish it and then we need to move on to a verb. So we wanted more uh, agreement morphology in this language. Let's just rearrange this a bit. So this is for Tov house. So we need... A singular, a dual, and a plural. We need first, second, and third person. So, Gviv is my house. Gvona is their house, or any of the third person singulars. Uh, Gvifnath is third person dual. We need to fill out this paradigm. All right. We can also do the dual and plural for house itself, which we should probably do and how all these interact. But for now, we're, we're pluralizing the house owners. So this is a singular house owned by many people. Yes, Jan Um So let's continue. Let's, let's do our, our second person. Um, can I get a, a, a um, I'm doing a little bit of elicitation right now with the chat. Um, Chat, how would we say, what would we use to make our second person singular? I'm assuming it would be just the, let me see if I can remember my Tokipona, Tomo Sina, Sina? Ah, okay, good. Uh, so let's put that through the ringer and see what happens. So, Tomo Sina, going to turn into Tovo Hina which is going to turn into TV, TV Hina, which is going to get stress shifted over to TV Hina. And we're gonna have secondary stress on this, this first syllable, help me out, ipa.typeit.org. You're brilliant, TV Hina. And then, we lose the unstressed mid vowels, Tevhina, and that's it. Tevhina looks very different because we are keeping the, um, the syllables with secondary stress on them. We're not, we are not letting them fall victim to this rule where we lose the mid-vowels. So, Gviv is my house. Tevhina is your house. Gvona is his or her or its house. Gvifnath is, is the two of them's house. Gwen, <laughs> V to F. Yeah, yeah, I like that. So... So anything voiced when it comes into contact with H just turns into Tefina. And it's really hard to segment these. So let's just not try at the moment. Oh boy. The two of them's house. Gvifnath. Or Gvifnath, I suppose. Yeah, let's make sure that we get the stress right. Gvifnath. All right. So then how are we going to do uh, the house of us two? So this is going to be Tomo, what is it? P, mi, tu, and then Tomo, P, sina, tu. Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I totally off base? Tell me. We can get all the rest of our duels. If you think that this is extreme, 
this allomorphy, go learn Old Irish. And then tell me if you still think it's extreme. Oh, excellent. I got it. So let's let's do our, our sound changes then. It would be would it be quicker to lexergy it to death? Probably, but that's I think a little less fun. I mean it's kind of fun to do that on my own. I don't know if you want to see me puzzling up uh, puzzling about bug messages and things like that. But eventually, yes, that's what the that's what we'll do. Tovo fi vi thu. Tovo fi hina thu. And then what else? Let's get our umlaut. Tove fi vi thu. Tove fi hina thu. And let's get rid of our final vowel. Well, not get rid, but schwaify it. Tove fi hina thu. And then I'm just going to keep this boundary in here because we know not to delete these intertonic vowels within the word because there are no intertonic vowels within the word. Then we stress shift over to the, pomult, uh, the penultimate, Tove fi vitha, Tove fi hinatha. And then we. I am said you're you're conti you're currently attempting to lexigate to death. Ooh, well, please share your your work. Uh, if you're, I, I don't know. You're on, if you're on the Discord, if you're not, you know, down and all that, there's the link. Um, sometimes I don't know because people have different names on Discord and and on uh, on YouTube, and I can only remember like three things on any given day. So, okay, Tove fi Vita, Tove fi. And then we are going to put in our secondary stresses. I gotta, I gotta just keep a secondary stress marker there, just for, for just such an occasion. So this very different um, path that, so that odd numbered and even numbered forms take is characteristic of Old Irish, which is why I, I brought it up before, and they get very different. Right, so, did I get this right? No, I didn't. So we're gonna lose this. We're going to, oops, nope, that's exactly what we're not gonna lose. Colin, you're getting sloppy, pal. And you're gonna lose this. Then we end up with gvfivitha. Let me lose the schwa. So gvfivith and tvfihi. So tvfihinatha. Tvfihinath. Oops. No, oh, Colin, you're losing it, pal. There we go. Tefihinath. Oops, I got those backwards. So, what do you think? Gviv, tefina, gvona, gvivifith, tefihinath, gvifnath. This is really bad. I think this is really bad. Let's make it worse. Okay. Plural. So I'm assuming that this would be, um, this would be tomo pi mi mute, tomo pi sina mute, tomo pi ona mute. Am I right there? So let's quickly, quickly do these. So tovo fi vi vu te. Right, so we are actually introducing a number distinction into tichfona, uh, which does not exist in the ancestral language. Hina futhe tovo fiona vuthe tovo fi tovo fi vi vuthe tovo fi hina vuthe tovo fiona vuthe. Let's continue. Umlaut. 
te ve fi vi vi se te ve fi hi na ooh our first a vi se te ve fi ye na vi se vi se round those vowels pal I have a I have a headache from this too to be honest <laughs> but it has to be done. All right, so then let's continue. Oops, I need to schwaify some things. So it's this this rule. Non-low vowels turn to schwa at the end of the word. Great. And then we need to do some secondary stress counting. So... Let's put this primary stress in first, actually. Teve fi vi vitha. So vitha is going to be our primary stress, and this is all one word. I'm just keeping them apart for practical reasons. Teve teve fi vi vitha. Teve fi hi na vitha. Teve fi na vitha. Okay. Now we remove all the mid vowels that are unstressed. Te fi vi vitha. And we also remove the final schwa. Te fi hi na Te fi na Now we do some voicing agreement in clusters. Te fi vi vitha. Which gives us te fi vi vitha. Te fi hi na what is this language? And Tefunavith. So there's the full paradigm. I hope you hate it. <laughs> no, I don't hope you hate it, but I, I anticipate that you will. Look at that. All right. This is evil. Like, this is actually, we've brought evil into the world today. Why did we do this? This is, this is bad news. So it looks like there are, oops, I forgot one thing. This is going to dissimilate to gv. <sighs> okay. So what on earth is going on here? It looks like we have two allomorphs. Gv and tif. And the root is, the, the citation form is tov. But in the possessed paradigm, we have gv in the first person singular. Oh no, no, it's not actually that simple, is it? We have a third, a third allomorph here. And we don't really know what the segmentation will be until we see another noun and see what endings it gets. All right, so, yeah. So the first person, and I'm gonna just make these into different colors. Gv, this is very linothylophy. I'm getting flashbacks. The gv form is in the first person singular, the first person dual, and the second person plural. The tiff form is in the first person plural. Nope, that's not the right kind of color. No, I don't like that either. Too bright. It's a bit eye bleedy. Apologies for the, there we go. This tiff allomorph is in the first person plural, the second person singular and dual, and the third person plural. And I've, I see I've missed a, a gv, which is also in the third person dual. And then we in the third person singular, we have this gv, which I don't even know. This is just bad news. This is very bad news. So there's our, our little paradigm. Yeah. I don't think we're going to have time to do verbs today. I think what we should do is do one more noun that has a different... Um, a different structure. Let's see if we can find it. Maybe we could do soeli, which turns into swell. Oh, sorry, there. Yeah, let's um, let's take this, move this over here, and then we can bring all of the sound changes on screen at once. How about that? Okay, so let's see what happens here. 
and Jan Temely just pointed out, and this is absolutely right, this isn't even the full paradigm for house. This is just the full possess the possessive paradigm for singular house. This language could get really, really, really complicated. But I'm curious as to what the actual what the actual possessive suffixes are, and we don't know enough because we only have one example. Excuse me. So we need to do a little bit more to find out. So if I'm doing something ungrammatical in Tokipono, please stop me. Um, but I think this is this is accurate. So soeli mi. So how are we going to do this? Let's go through our sound changes. We'll do our lenition first. So soeli vi, soeli hina, soeli ona. And then we do our um, umlaut. So I think the only thing that's going to happen is we're going to go soeli. That's the only effect. Then we do, 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 do. we turn this e into a glide sevelona then we turn the final vowels to schwa seveliva then we delete the intertonic vowels in the word and this does happen here seveli seveliona although it doesn't happen here does it because this has already lost a syllable. Sewell. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. So we continue. Um, this vowel initial suffix here is what's causing the, uh, the trouble. But it's not really trouble, is it? It's, it's just part of the fun. Let's get our stress shift prepared. So leva. So lihina, oops, no, that's secondary stress. What am I doing? Where is my primary stress marker? There we go. So liva, so lihina, so weliona. And we need to save some of these secondary stresses. So so lihina, so weliona. And then we need to jettison all of the unstressed mid vowels in the language as well as this final schwa sleeve sleeve so then we're left with this so lihina so liona. oops we actually sorry there's one more thing i have to do swirlihina swirlona because we have this glide flipping rule this metathesis rule here so then, yeah, then we're left with Sweliona. And then we have something that's a bit odd. We have this Hina or Ihina or something. Etymologically, this should be the segmentation. This is tough. But then we get a completely different kind of suffix. We have Ina here with a change in in the, the root final constant to F from V. Yeah, this is weird. This is very weird. Sli. How, how about Sli to Sli? This is reminding me of something we did in one of the Sakrat branches. Yeah. Sliv. I think Sliv is also possible though, because remember we had in the other, in the ruin lex, we had Swa. Okay, so I think what we need to do is say, we just need to accept that there's going to be some analogy. We wanted a naturalistic language out of this. There, there, is, there are always forces of analogy acting to regularize paradigms. And there's just only so much a paradigm can take. So what I think we'll do, hmm. I'm almost afraid to do to do the next ones. Let's say that we have form the root form. So we we need a principal part system. Here we have swell, swli, swelly, or swell. 
maybe this uh, e versus ya is is uh, synchronically the e and ya are in complementary distribution synchronically so we don't have to posit a different representation for for these two and maybe the same thing is here is true here because vowels automatically because vowels always turn into glides before other vowels maybe we actually do not need a second form here gvw is just an al allophone of gv before a vowel i'm happy with that so then all we need are our two oh sorry yeah our two allomorphs although that doesn't work here so yeah so maybe what we'll do is have this shape of a paradigm where we have form A and form B. So these are the principal parts. You need to know form A, form B, which is, so form A is orange and form B is green. And then the language has, works using analogy to regularize things so that you only ever need two principal parts. And so for tov, it's tov gv. And for swil, it's, so we'd write it probably like tov gv house and swil. And then we have to figure out what to do with this sleeve. I think we should, I think we should restore, we should restore its former vowel here to make sure that this is not absolutely out of control. Hmm, pondering, pondering, pondering. But I see we're out of time. <sighs> Come on. All right, so maybe this is what, you know, what writers do. Don't they leave people in suspense? Let's leave people in suspense. I'm going to say, as a homework assignment. If you want to think about this cursed language, if you dream about it, if you have nightmares about it, and you want to work on uh, on this, uh, I give you my blessing. Come up with absolutely evil ideas. Um, but for now, we will say farewell to Tichfona, an evil language. And... And farewell to you as well, YouTube. Thank you so much for joining us. Come back next time and we will work some more on this or something equally, uh, equally fun, equally strange, equally cursed. So until next time, I remain your, your servant in linguistics and uh, absolutely bizarre ideas, Colin.